Hey, I'm Kier, and this is that vlog thing that I'm doing. Just got back from my uh, second film at the Spooky Movie International Film Festival down at the AFI in Silver Spring. Uh, it's called Valley of the Sasquatch, and uh, apparently it's won some awards. I have to call into question the competition it was up against in, in some of those categories, uh, or call into question the projectionist at AFI. Half of this movie was so dark, it may as well have been a radio play. It's set in the woods, on a mountain, where a father and his son have gone after uh, the death of uh, the kid's mother, and after the father has apparently uh, become uh, reverted to being an alcoholic, uh, and, and is out of work, out of money, had the house foreclosed on, so they're going up to an old family cabin uh, up on this mountain. Uh, needless to say, things go a little bad. Uh, the guy's uh, brother-in-law comes along, the guy's uh, annoying friend comes along, like abusively annoying friend, <laughs> and uh, they end up, uh, if you can't tell from the title, running into a Sasquatch, or two, or three, maybe more. It's really tough to tell because it's so dark. All I know is there's big hairy things beating on stuff. Everything in this movie is telegraphed uh, through the camera work, through the questionable uh, writing. There's not a lot of actual subtlety that goes on, and I know that can sometimes masquerade as um, surprising plot twists because things don't always come together and the things that do come together are so blatantly obvious. It may seem like that other stuff is a surprise. I, I, the movie really didn't work that well for me. I wanted to like it. But between the, the really dark, uh, and, and I mean that visually, not, not even aesthetically, not even story-wise, just dark, like turn on a light, dark. Yes, I know you're, you're, you're supposed to be night, but we should be able to see the movie, dark. So that, uh, that was a bit of a problem. Uh, but the, the other stuff, uh, the writing in it, the characters strike me as pretty flat. Uh, the interaction between the son and the father has some really, really good moments, but those are completely overshadowed by the kind of ridiculous flip-flopping on who's competent and who's not. Uh, another issue, like I mentioned earlier, is the complete telegraphing of stuff. Hey, as the father's getting his coat out of the shed, as opposed to in the, uh, in the cabin, uh, they make it a great point to frame that and follow those keys down to the ground as they fall out of his pocket. I wonder if that's going to be important later. Oh, look! They had a very close shot and stopped everything in the scene to make sure you could see that one guy take a chaw of tobacco and put it in his mouth before he put the tobacco tin back in his pocket. I wonder if that's going to be important later. It's obvious Chekhov's gun stuff. There's a right way and a wrong way to do stuff like that. It's one thing to have the gun on the mantle in the first scene and have it used in the third scene. It's, it's another thing to have the gun on the mantle, have everyone stop and point to it and say, hey, nice gun on the mantle, and then have it used in the third act. A and that's the sort of stuff that I saw in this movie. And that sort of stuff kind of annoys me. So it definitely not my cup of tea. Uh, Maybe it works better for some people. Uh, I also had a lot of problems accepting that any of these people had ever been in the woods before. Uh, especially the ones who said they had been in the woods before and did, didn't have any basic uh, concept of how to survive in the woods or how to deal with animals in the woods, even if they are Sasquatch, you shouldn't be completely 
surprised and terrified of the idea of a bear being in the woods on a mountain that you claim to have spent lots of time on. I grew up in the woods. I've seen bears. I've had raccoons in my tent. There's a right way and a wrong way to do that stuff. They did most of it in the wrong way, in my opinion. Um, but hey, it's apparently an award-winning little independent film. So someone likes it that someone's not me. If you want to see something good with a monster in the woods, go watch Wendigo. Wendigo is a movie that completely surprised me uh, a bunch of years ago when I was flipping through channels one night and caught it on cable. Uh, that movie has a solid cast, a solid story, and a pretty interesting uh, couple of twists that go on. So Sasqu uh, Valley of the Sasquatch, so many ways this movie could have been better. It, it didn't have a focus other than oh no, we're being chased through the woods by monsters, uh, and there's interpersonal conflict because, hey, why not? Th there were three or four different messages the movie could have had with just a little bit more focus, uh, but it didn't have it. A and that left me disappointed because if you're setting a movie in the woods and have a man-versus-nature motif that you can make use of, you should make use of it. Especially if you mention that one of the characters is there to log half the mountain clear. And that the last big time these Sasquatch things were run into was when there was a gold mine being dug in the area. But two mentions of stuff in passing doesn't make a theme. And there was nothing else to support any theme. The father and son interaction could have been a very solid theme, especially with the brother-in-law uh, slash uncle involved. Uh, and the complete dick of a friend could have been something to play off of, but it wasn't. It just got used as a plot device. A and that's just sad to me. The movie, it's not awful, mind you, but at best, it's mediocre. And there's nothing that annoys me more than a mediocre movie. So, if you want to, find somewhere to check it out. Maybe you'll like it. But I didn't. I'm hoping the movie tomorrow is going to be better because the directors of the movie tomorrow are going to be at the theater for some Q&A and I'd rather not have to look at them if the movie's not good. Uh, I'm really glad the guy who did this one wasn't there because I'd feel kind of bad uh, about how I feel about his movie. I mean, he actually made it. That puts him ahead of me, so good. He's won awards. Uh, we'll see what he does after this. Uh, maybe it'll be better. Maybe the, the projector was just uh, not bright enough in, in the AFI theater. I know they had some uh, issues with the sound. They had it turned up way too loud. Uh, but Valley of Sasquatch did not do it for me. Uh, so that's my review of that. And that's it for tonight. If you have seen Valley of the Sasquatch, uh, drop me a comment below and let me know what you thought of it. Uh, let me know that I'm not just talking in a vacuum here. Uh, if you liked what I have to say, uh, hit the thumbs up button down there if you want to see more of all of this. And be sure you don't miss any of these. I'm putting these out daily. Subscribe. And uh, if you think anyone else would be interested in my opinion on this particular thing or anything else that I've uh, posted about in the past couple of weeks, share this. So that's it for tonight. I'm Kier, and I guess I'll see you tomorrow.